Okay, today we are going to make our snuffer bottles. This is really quick and easy. This will only take you a few seconds to do, well, a few minutes to do. I have bought these little plastic bottles online from some chemical supply store down in the States. I got these specific ones because they're quite firm. They're really tough bottles. And I hate a wimpy snuffer bottle. Ones that the plastic is just soft, has very little suction when you use it. I hate those. So I went and got really firm ones for you guys so that they work really well, nice and strong. They'll have the cap on top there. They should steal nicely. You will need a piece of this tubing and you'll need a bottle. When you are ready to start building one, when everything else is done, uh, come and see me. I'll get you the parts and pieces. Very simple here. First thing you need to do is cut yourself four inches of the tubing. Cut on a piece of scrap wood, please. Measure out four inches. Doesn't even have to be very accurate, just roughly four inches. Cut yourself a piece of tubing. Cut straight across. There's a reason behind that. Just make sure it's straight, not an angle. When we go build our big suction devices later on, I'll explain why we don't put the end on an angle. But for now, just make sure you're cutting straight across. The tip of the bottle has to get cut off as well. You'll see that there's a little line on it. Start by cutting right at that line. It's not the right size. Because you have to have it so that that piece of pipe will fit through. The line is a little bit small. But start there and then we'll just keep trimming off a tiny bit each time. Not quite. It's close though. Oops, that wasn't very much. Don't go too far. Don't go big chunks. We don't want to get it too big. If it's too big, then we have to seal it somehow. There we go. Push it halfway through, so you have half coming out the bottom, half coming out the top. So you only suck, so we'll push the water oh, on the black sand? Well, this will suck up black sand, it'll suck up gold, it'll suck up everything. Oh, I see, and then the gold can't go back in. Yeah, as you suck up, it goes out that tube, and then all the heavies fall down below. And then when you squish back out, only water comes back out. All the heavies are sitting in the bottom. Really neat, these things, because the tube, I know it's hard to see here, but because the end of the tube is right in the very middle of this, it doesn't matter which way up it is, when you squeeze it, only air or water will come out. Any of the heavies will always sink down to the bottom and be away from that little nozzle. The only way you can get the stuff out of this is by taking the lid, opening it up, and dumping the heavies out. You would have to fill this thing over half full before it would actually start uh, squirt, squirting out the good stuff. Don't worry if the nozzle's on a bit of an angle, that just helps you get down into those corners there. And that's it. It's not much to build one of these. A piece of tube, cut off the top, squish it through, and you're done. Make sure you write your name on these so everyone has their own and we don't lose them. When you're done with it, please put it into your backpack. Don't leave it just laying around the shop. By the end of today, I want everyone to have one of these and a classifier finished.